Well, I'm joined now by Dan Kelly, who has a severe nut allergy and is the founder of the Allergy Blog and podcast May Contain. Dan, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about this new law. And, and perhaps you could begin by telling us about your allergy and how it affects your life. Yeah, so I found out when I was five years old I had a severe allergy to all nuts. And yeah, it's, it's a struggle every day, obviously, eating out, going to different restaurants. There's always that risk of having an allergic reaction. You could say it's a bit like Russian roulette and... Everything I'm trying to do is always kind of reduce that risk of having an allergic reaction, definitely when I'm eating out and getting food on site. And I'm sure when you think back to, to when you heard the news about what had happened to Natasha, that must ha have really shaken you. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, like it kind of shot me to the core, really, because obviously you, just, you don't think it's ever going to happen to you. And then you kind of hear the story what happened to Natasha and the tragedy what did happen to Natasha. It just wasn't labelled clearly on the packaging. And you couldn't physically see it as well. You know, it was, it was actually cooked into the, the, the bun, the sesame seeds. So you couldn't physically, so you couldn't even see it by looking at the, the food itself. And um, yeah, and I did a podcast with the family and it kind of, honestly, like, I was so upset and kind of so emotional after it. Like, How much difference then, Dan, do you think this new law, Natasha's law, will make? Oh, it's going to make such a massive difference, I think. For starters, it's going to make people feel more confident when they're eating out and obviously grabbing food on the go. Um, and as well, now obviously listing the top four in allergens, people can make a more informed decision to make sure that obviously it doesn't contain other, any of their allergens. Um, and hopefully kind of start that dialogue as well with the kind of staff members to make sure now they can kind of see the packaging. Um, I think it's going to make such a difference. And fewer allergy deaths as well. There's been a threefold in the last 20 years of food-induced anaphylaxis, so hopefully it can kind of reduce um, or prevent more allergy deaths going forward. Yeah, I just want to ask now, how much awareness do you think that there is about this new law? There's been a survey, hasn't there, I understand, su uh, suggesting eight out of ten companies aren't aware of it. So how concerned are you about that and about compliance with it? Yeah, I was very shocked when I read that online, um, out of eight out of ten businesses, wasn't aware about Natasha's law. Obviously businesses, both small and big, have had over two years now to kind of um, get on board. And then if you go on the food standard agency website, they've got all the information on there. And it's very straightforward for businesses to kind of get on board in Natasha's law. And hopefully by doing of the interviews like this, we can kind of get as much awareness out as possible. But hopefully food businesses now can kind of take on that more kind of responsibility or should I say accountability now with Natasha's law that they are going to take allergies a lot more seriously. I guess in the meantime people with allergies they have to continue to be very vigilant. What else could happen? What else would you like to see um, to allow people with allergies to be more confident if they're going to a restaurant or if they're buying some pre-packed food in, in a sandwich shop for example? I think with the with the allergy training I feel it's so varied from like small establishments to big establishments and I've always said just starting that dialogue with the customer is so important and you're surprised at the amount of restaurants or you go out there, just don't start that kind of dialogue. So yeah, I think that's so important, but I think the allergy training, because obviously some establishment over 39% from this recent study was saying, obviously that the, the, they've had no allergy training at all. So it was really shocking. And I think that there should be allergy training across the board for both small and big businesses. Okay, well, um, my best experience has always been when they've had that personal connection to allergies. So if they've got a family member who's got an allergy or they've got a friend who's got an allergy, they kind of take the allergy a lot more seriously. Yeah, and, and that means you can feel more confident. Uh, Dan, thank Absolutely. you so much for, for talking to us. And uh, I wish you well with your campaign to bring this to even wider attention. Dan Kelly um, from the Allergy Blog and Podcast may contain.